Hello everybody, welcome to another review. Uh, today we're looking at this, the Roland Street EX. Could this be the only guitar amp you'll ever need? Was it something I said or something I didn't do or something I did wrong? Right, this little thing um, comes with a lot of features, so this video will probably be in two parts. Uh, the first part, which is this one, I'm going to cover its abilities with acoustic guitar. If you've been to my channel before and you've uh, watched my vlogs, etc., you will know that I go busking and I take this with me every single time. But not just busking, I, I use this in pub gigs as well. Uh, I do acoustic gigs and, and I've even used it in a band situation with an electric guitar. Now, I bought this off of Amazon uh, two years ago. Uh, there is a link in the description if you want to take a look. It's about £488, I think, and you get a lot for your money. Uh, this particular one, like I said, is two years old, and I don't, I abuse it, and it's in pretty, still in pretty good condition, considering I drag it around the streets, gets chucked in the back of the van, in the hot and the cold, in the rain even. Um, it's not waterproof, but it has been rained on suddenly when there's been a downpour and it's never, ever, ever let me down. All right, just gonna give you a closer look at it so you can see how it's holding up to regular use. And it does get used literally every day. It's not doing too bad. Let's go through the control panel. So as you can see, there's lots of goodness going on here. You've got two XLR sockets, which can both take jack as well. Uh, channel one, you have your bass, middle, treble, its own reverb, its own volume. Uh, you can flick it to mic or instrument, which is really handy. Channel two has again bass, middle, treble, has its own reverb, and it has a chorus and delay effect, which you can dial in, which is really cool. And then you can you've got the option of acoustic guitar, an acoustic simulator which kind of makes your electric guitar sound like an acoustic guitar, but I don't think it really does. Then you've got a clean and a crunch and lead channel on there, two lead channels. And I'll demonstrate those in part two. Um, it's got a built-in tuner, which is awesome. It's own volume for that channel. And then this side, you've got another input. So you've got a, a, a mono input or a stereo input. You can put another instrument there if you want to, and it's got its own volume again. Um, you've got a uh, mini jack for your mp3 player, your phone, etc. with its own volume. Again, awesome. Uh, you've got a battery check light here, if I flick it on. Bright lights. That mutes the, the, the uh, sound as well and then tells you how much battery life you've got left. Um, you've also got eco, normal and max mode. When it's on max mode it's its full 50 watts. This thing packs 50 watts, it's great. Uh, normal kind of cuts that in half and then eco cuts that in half again on the back you've got your mains power so it can run on power as well as batteries which is another great feature it's got just phones it's got an auxiliary in and it's got line out mono or stereo link which is cool and then the optional foot switch for your effects battery compartment sits here it takes eight AA batteries and it's very, very easy. You don't need any tools, you just undo the little things, and then there's your batteries in there. The whole thing comes out as well, so you can actually buy um, extra cartridges. I'll show you what I mean. You want to do these two screws here. And then the whole thing comes out so you can um, have another loaded cartridge for when the batteries run out you can buy extra ones and then just swap it over which is a great feature as well I thought there's a hole on the bottom to put it on a mic stand and the whole thing is wedge shaped like a monitor which is really great because when you're busking or whatever or at a jam night or doing a little acoustic gig in a bar you can just plonk it on the floor and it projects the sound up really well. Um, you can also pop it up on its side like so. You've got a handle on the top and on the side, 
So I've got it powered up with the uh, power supply. It does have an onboard tuner, so let's just check that. You hold this down like this, and then it flashes, and there's your onboard tuner. Okay. Brilliant tune. Using my Looper, my Boss RC30 Looper. It's mic'd up with my SE mic in the front, going into Focusrite. Adobe Audition. Settings are vocal mic in. That's the settings for that. That's what I generally use. Acoustic guitar in like that. That's what I generally use. I've got the. It's on normal, as in the power output. What's going on? Was it something I said or something I didn't do or something I had wrong? Never believed in all that junk, but somehow I'm right out of love. So hopefully you can uh, appreciate how nice it sounds with acoustic guitar, the vocals sound lovely, the, re the reverb on it is really, really nice as well. Um, it's got a full sound, the bass response is good, the mid response is good, the high response is good. It's really, really sweet. Okay, so that is just recorded from the Cube, mic'd into my mic, obviously, and then into Adobe Audition. There's no effects no mastering, no EQ or anything on Adobe. That is exactly how it sounds. Create this third channel, which is an instrument line in. I've added a bass guitar into here. So we've still got the acoustic guitar where it was and the vocal where it was. So this shows you that you can add uh, a bass player or a second guitar, whatever you want into that. But it is just a dry signal there. There's no effects or anything on this channel. But you could use an effects unit, I suppose, if you wanted to. Let's check this one out. Sitting here wondering what's going on. Was it something I said or something I didn't do? Or something I had wrong? Never believed in all that junk But somehow I'm right out of love Okay, for the second part of this video I'm going to take you through the electric guitar effects uh, I've set all the tone stack to 12 o'clock And I'm, first off I'm going to put it on clean 
and I'm going to show you the chorus and delay that's on this on clean setting and then I'll work it through the, the other settings that are on there for you. My Aria Nexter. Ring. Say hi, Freddie. Hello. And it has uh, USA Fender pickups in it. So to give you an idea, I'm just going to leave it on the neck pickup. Okay, so this is the chorus all the way up. Okay, now halfway. Okay, here's the delay uh, up full. And the delay on half. Okay, so that was just some of the delay settings. Let's go to the acoustic simulator, which is here. Oh, no, it's not. It's that one there, sorry. Supposed to make your electric guitar sound like a, an acoustic guitar, apparently. All right, first setting, which is crunch. <laughs> setting which is lead so the settings we just went through was the acoustic simulator the clean the crunch and the lead now I'm going to uh, put it through the mix with the loop, we're going to put it on lead, and I'm going to add a bit of chorus. Was it something I said or something I didn't do or something I did wrong? Never believed in all that junk, but somehow I'm right out of love. Okay, so could this be the only guitar amp you will ever need? Well. It certainly does do a lot for the money. I think for under £500, this is a really, really good piece of kit. Um, it won't ever replace the traditional valve amp and pedal board um, sound, but if I, was, if I was only given one choice, if I was only allowed to have one amp, then this would be a really, really good choice. 
Um, you can put pedals in front of it as well if you put it on the clean uh, the clean setting. Um, it takes pedals really well, but it's not a valve amp, um, so it will never sound like a valve amp. But doesn't mean it's not a good sound. And with the, all the other capabilities that it's got, I think that this is probably my favourite amp that I own. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, if there's anything else you want to see, uh, I, I'm happy to make another video uh, with anything you want me to uh, demonstrate it doing, etc, etc. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Links in the description if you want to get yourself one of these. Peace.